from headlines to headlines, from serious to scandal, from bulls and bears to babes. Find it all at CNA. Welcome back to Expresso live on SABC3. Now, a big thing currently on the tech market are e-readers. And this morning, we are joined by Alan Duggan from Popular Mechanics. He's the editor to give us a rundown on two different versions. So techies, sit to that little bit closer. Good morning, Alan. <laughs> how are you? Good morning, guys. Good morning, nice sir. How are you? you? Mm, excellent, Good. excellent. So you've got two different ones. So I, I, I understand that these things come in many, many different versions. Yeah. There's probably a couple of dozen on the market. Yes, That's yes. First, let's, let's establish exactly what an e-reader is. Okay, well, it uses, um, in this case, I'm looking at the, the, the Kindle, uh, e-ink, e-ink pearl, as they call it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a, a, a book uh, in tablet form, in mini tablet form. Uh, that's essentially what the e-reader is. Um, and these will accommodate a couple of thousand books. Uh, wow. it's, it's an alternative, nice. it's a, a high-tech alternative yeah. to having a knapsack full of books when you go on holiday or wherever. Yes. And I'm a total convert. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and of course, I mean, they come in different sizes as well, I understand. Yeah. This, mm. this, you know, I measured it against a, a sort of a, a small a novel and the screen is more or less the same size. Okay. So it's perfect for reading. Shall I tell you the difference? Please. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is the, uh, this is the Kindle um, version 3, um, a monochrome, so it's a black and white. Mm -hmm. um, and it has this little pad here, which is analogous to the pad you've seen in other devices, uh, which enables you to move around and select, um, not a touch screen. Okay. So, right, there you have a book, and you uh, switch the pages by pressing that button there. Wow. It's, it's, it's easy. It's, it's funny, a it piece actually of looks paper. like a page in a book. It does, well, exactly. It looks exactly like, like a page. Yeah. You do need a light. Uh, yeah. A bedside uh, light yes. or daylight. Okay. It's fabulous for reading in the, in the daylight, uh, whereas <laughs> the, uh, the touchscreen nook color um, is perhaps uh, less impressive in that respect. Um, and it's wonderful. It'll accommodate a couple of thousand books. Yeah. It has a, a, a basic browser uh, listed under experimental. Um, and you, you, know, you can do so much with this little thing. Okay, How there we go. It to operate, to though? A piece of cake. Really? Yeah, it's huh. intuitive. You, you know, the, you, the, the, the thumb generation will, will <laughs> yeah. find it so, so easy. So you have a basic web browser. You can play MP3 oh. music. If you want, this, yeah. if, you, if you prefer it, this thing will read your story back to you. <laughs> that's being so lazy. That's, that's seriously lazy. <laughs> Tell us about this, uh, this color screen, right. touch screen. This is, uh, that, by the way, is the Amazon product. Okay. It's the best-selling product mm. ever on Amazon. As Kindle is one of the best, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Barnes & Noble, the, the big uh, US company, uh, produce the Nook Color. Uh, a, a wonderful little machine. This one has a touch screen, uh, web, full web, email, mm -hmm. great apps, for example, um, maybe I'm getting off the subject of e-readers, but, but, <laughs> yeah. but there, for example, Pulse. Yeah. Um, this you can load with all kinds of news feeds and give oh, you daily, wow. daily updates. Okay. Uh, for example, I've loaded uh, New York Times, all wow. manner of stuff. But I like, it, I like the fact that it's not only for books and that you can still connect to the internet yeah. and get all your news feeds and all yeah. of that. Magazines. Well. Touch screen. You know, this, I think this essentially bridges the gap between a tablet like the ones you're using uh -huh. and an e-reader. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's something for everyone. A big disadvantage uh, from some perspectives is that uh, Barnes & Noble, by agreement with publishers, sell books only in the U.S. Oh, right. There so are ways to... around it. Oh. Uh, and perhaps I shouldn't uh, elaborate on that on public television. It might be. There <laughs> are ways around it. Um, and I would suggest, while you pursue those ways, you um, download a very useful a bit of software called yeah. Calibre, spelled the okay. English way, dot uh -huh. com. It will nice. convert um, any format into the format yeah. you need for this. Question I've got yes. there, as, in as much as this is, is a, a kind of a nature-saving kind of initiative, is yeah. this the end of books? Because I read an article that said that a generation that moves away from books, from written word kind of thing, is one that actually is essentially dying. Uh, yes, but remember, you're not moving from the written word. You're moving away, perhaps, from the tactile satisfaction of turning a page mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and putting the book flat on your bedside smell. table. Yeah. I tend not to smell, smell books, but I think I know what you mean. I know. Oh, there's something <laughs> about the smell of books. <laughs> but this is something. My family become complete converts. My wife and I were sitting on the couch the other night, and she was reading the new color. I was reading the Kindle, and you know, it looked like yeah. Nerd Central. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, yeah. you guys don't text each other while you sit next to each other. Uh, do you? Uh, we did that once. That's, that's silly. 
Oh but my goodness, uh, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it's But shameful. it's really, it's a way to go. I'm, a, I'm a complete confident. <laughs> and now, of course, if you'd like to find out more about all these wonderful gadgets, uh, you yeah. can get yourself a subscription. You can actually win. A two six, or two viewers can win yeah. a six-month subscription to Popular Mechanics. All you have to exactly. do is SMS the word CNA, your name and your city, to yeah. 33728, yeah. and you could be one of those lucky winners. Exactly. Otherwise, go get your latest issue of Popular Mechanics at your nearest CNA. Indeed. I think it's time we go over to the kitchen. The ladies are cooking something with... Oh, they're making leftovers again. Leftovers? I think so. I, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs>